The Great Chicago Blood Drive is just over a week away, and it is coming as the country faces a critical blood shortage right now. In fact, we are told that this is the worst shortage in more than a decade. Holly Baker from the American Red Cross joining us right now. Holly, good to see you again. What, what's driving this current shortage? Well, thank you so much for having me to talk about this very important issue we're seeing right now. We think it's due to a lot of people still being, uh, you know, part of this pandemic that's going on. People aren't feeling well. And the real problem is only 3% of the population donates blood you know, pre-pandemic. So now that we're dealing with more people feeling sick and we're right around the holidays right now too, and people usually have travel plans, we're just seeing a really uh, combination here that's causing a severe shortage of blood right now. And Holly, right now we're looking at some of the video of the blood supply and you're seeing a lot of empty shelves. What happens, Holly, if the shortage isn't resolved? Well, it's it's like we say, you know, there are so many reasons that people need blood and those reasons aren't going to stop just because there's a pandemic or because there's a blood shortage. Babies are still being born. People with cancer still need treatment. There are still car crashes. Mm -hmm. Anything that somebody might need blood for is still going to happen. So if we don't have the blood on the shelf, it could be really devastating for the people or the family involved. So you have to remember that blood cannot be manufactured. We can't get it anywhere else but from generous people who come out and donate. Mm. Folks are obviously worried about COVID and uh, safety and stuff like that. You've had to change the way you do your business. How safe is it for folks to be able to give blood during the pandemic? Right. We definitely have had to be very flexible and nimble in our blood drives, but you have to remember that blood is essential. So we are going to continue to collect blood and make sure everything is done safely. Everyone is required to mask up. We are doing extra cleaning and sanitizing. We're spacing people out. We're doing everything we need to do to make sure people feel safe because blood is so important. So if you're feeling healthy and well, this is your chance to come out and give blood to give back you never know when it's going to be you or someone in your family who might need it and and holly one quick question about uh covid19 does a recent vaccination or recent recovery from covid19 impact someone's ability to donate absolutely not so even if you get a vaccine that day you are still eligible to donate as long as you're feeling good we want people who are feeling healthy and well people who aren't recently sick people who are very healthy to come out and give blood because the safety of both our donors and the people who receive the blood mm. is a main priority at the Red Cross. The gift of life indeed. All right, Holly Baker with the American Red Cross. Thanks very much. And remember the Great Chicago Blood Drive coming up this month on Wednesday, January 12th and Thursday, January 13th. And you can donate in the city and the suburbs and Northwest Indiana. So just head to our website or our news app for more details. All right, we're gonna check weather for you right now. I know Cheryl Scott has been involved with the Red Cross for many years and always there for our blood drive. Uh, but right now, taking a look at our weather, it is a cold start to 2022 this first work week. That's right. In fact, right in that camera, you can see practically frost on the lens yeah. there. Hey, Cheryl. Uh, yes, it's pretty cold out there, but it was good to see Holly and the American Red Cross, and we have all of those details on our website, and we truly hope to see you next week because it is the gift of life, and there is such a huge blood shortage. So take note of that. If you can donate, you really are helping